How's it going everyone? It's your boy Dak Nightaway, aka the Dig Dug himself, and we're back again with Monster Hunter Iceborne, and today we're going to be fighting Banboro, which I'm just going to stop right now and tell you all that I'm going to call it Banboros. Um, I don't see why not. Every other monster who's just like him has the Ros in his name, and this guy just doesn't have the S. So, with that being said, Banboros. Regardless, here we are today, we're fighting him, and he is a bit of a doozy. I will say this about him, he's a lot of bark and a decent amount of bite. He hits very hard, but he's pretty slow. So most of you guys should have like no real problem actually fighting him doing part two. That most of your weapons, we're probably going to dance around him handedly. But with that being said, he's still a very cool monster to fight. I really, really, really love the design. He's, like I said, he's kind of tough, but if anything, if he fought Bay of Totos and probably grinded a little bit and made his armor, probably made a new G rank weapon, you should be okay. I tried fighting him without the G rank weapon and it took forever. That's why this video is like a little bit shorter than the last one, I think, because I actually have a G rank weapon as opposed to last time, I just had a high rank weapon uh, using the Bay of Totos gear that I had before and it's helped me a whole lot because I don't have to worry about Ice Blight, so on and so forth. But the Ben Bros is. He's a good fight. He's, he's a very good fight. He's a Brute Weaver. So if you don't know what classification he is, he is a Brute Weaver. He's a fantastic fight. He, he's a beautiful monster. I love his design, everything about them. But uh, let's talk about what it takes to uh, actually defeat him. So his main weakness is actually Dragon. Uh-huh. You thought I was going to say Fire. It's not Fire. It's actually Dragon. Fire is number two, however. So if you are going to actually fight him, maybe you might have a Dragon weapon that you want to carry over. Probably something that isn't... Uh, trash like i don't know devil joe if you have it but if not fire if you have an elemental weapon fire will do you fine but if you don't have either of those you can still again run in here with a uh just a regular jeering weapon i currently only have the uh the metal path lance right here you could run the bone path it's actually easy to create these things all you have to do is go out and mine or gather a couple of bones for a little bit and should be relatively okay and you have all the materials you need to actually fight him properly but with that said moving over once you actually do defeat him, oh, I'm, move, I'm moving really fast through this. Let's talk about his attacks first. So, he is a Brute Weaver. Brute Weaverns, they like to use Brute Force, hence the Brute part in their name. But his main thing is charging around with his horns. What he can do is he can actually roll around, he'll like charge around, and in his horns he will create like, I would say a snowball, but it's not really. There's rocks, there's debris, there's all sorts of things that get stuck up in the ball itself. And he uses that to actually slam down or throw at you or whatever. So he will actually run in one direction, run in the other direction, run in another direction. Up, I think, I think four times and make a massive ball. He can either slam that down or throw it. Usually though, he'll only run in two directions and then slam the ball down as well. Now on top of making giant, I'm not gonna say ice balls, they're debris balls. There's all sorts of things in there. He can, if he is running in towards foliage, like trees, he will come back with a tree in his horns and use that as a means to attack you. It's very scary the first time it happens to you if you've never fought him before and you're just trying your best to not die and then he comes back with a tree, like a whole tree. And the great thing about the tree is the fact that it actually will disappear from the world. So like if he's running in towards a tree, the tree will break off like the tree was once there. And it broke off it's in his horns he'll throw it at you and it's just a stump afterwards granted you know once you leave the quest come back the trees there but it's really cool that they actually have that in the game it, it helps with the immersion if you will so uh outside of those particular attacks i'm not gonna lie to you he's a brute weaver if you ever fought a brute weaver before like barrett or anything like that he's that's pretty much it he's not necessarily a one trick pony he has like two tricks and that's about it i pretty much told you those tricks the other attacks he does have is things you'd guess that every monster would have like a charge a hip check a tail sweep th those kind of things it's just nothing really um complex you really have to look out for it the attacks that i just told you is essentially all he really has so if you understand uh the angle in which he's doing these 
and the hitboxes, which is kind of hard to do because he is kind of big, so a lot of his movements may look like an attack, and it's just him walking around. But if you can actually figure out what these look like, you should be in relatively decent hands, and you wouldn't have real trouble combating what he can provide. So with that said, let's say you do defeat him, and you're going to make some gear. Let me tell you something. I love his gear. It is incredible for the design. It's beautiful. It's absolutely drop dead gorgeous for the males. It's Viking armor and for the females, well, I guess it's technically like not necessarily Viking, but it gives you that feel of uh, that the, the, the Norse kind of thing that or, or Sweden, Norway, that era, that area, you know, that that kind of thing that that look that Romanized look, it has the same vibe. But regardless, it's really, really decent armor. And the skills for the alpha are is actually really, really great. And for a lance like myself, I love. I'm in love with the main skill that I'm going to tell you guys. That is advanced. Excuse me, off offensive guard. But let's start at the very top with mushroom answer. What well, mushroom answer is? If you actually do not know, mushroom answer in this case it gives you level three into mushroom answer. It allows you to eat mushrooms that you normally couldn't eat. Like a blue mushroom you can't just eat a blue mushroom, but instead the blue mushroom will act as like a potion so different mushrooms give different effects I believe dragon's blight excuse me devil's blight acts as a max potion so mushroom answer allows you to actually have double your restorative supply so you would have potions mega potions max potions and then you would have I don't know nitro shroom um, excite shroom blue mushroom devil's blight all these things give you uh, particular bonuses mostly health bonuses they also have like attack bonuses and defense bonuses and things like that mushroom answer is a really good skill if you're a support user now offensive guard is the skill i was talking about i'm really really happy about it actually gives you a temporary attack and power if you guard perfectly so if a monster is about to hit you with an attack and you guard at the right moment at like the last second you get an attack bonus at level one you get five percent of your attack and at level three you get 15 percent it is a boon if you're a really good lance user or a chargeable user and you really like using gun uh, gun, gun points guard points you can essentially have a free double attack up large for like i believe about 10 or so seconds but if you're lance like myself you will get this buff a lot like from here on out well not from here on out in the next couple of hunts or actually in the next video there we go you'll see me activate offensive guard like 20 times because it's so easy to do because i'm lancing uh it's a very very fun skill now resuscitate is another attack that's actually uh, excuse me another skill that's really dope it only gives you two points in the resuscitate and whenever you have red health on your life bar you get an attack bonus. It's like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 in that order for each level. Pretty interesting. It's really cool if you're a reckless hunter like myself sometimes. It's actually a lot of fun. Then you get speed eating, which is speed eating, and then health boost. Very decent skills. And when you go to the beta, you get essentially the same thing, but obviously you lose a bit of points into the particular skill and instead come out with uh, additional slots. For the most part, what I'm seeing a pattern here, I'm going to say this is 100% confirmed because I don't know 100% yet, but I'm just going to say anyway. Every beta set has at least one level 4 gem in it. So that way, if you're rocking level 4 uh, decorations, you could just run a beta set and then it fit that decoration in there for free because every piece has one, like every single one. So that's really cool. So his weapons. His weapons are pretty solid as, uh, as well. They're ice-based weapons. You have to awaken them, so you know what that means. Awakened weapons mean high attack naturally, and when you don't have an element, put elementless as your decoration and get an even larger attack. I have his gun lance. It's a lot of fun. It's really, really beefy. It's slappy, and uh, it's really good. I will say, though, it's not super sharp, meaning it doesn't actually have, like, natural white sharpness. It has a lot of blue sharpness. Um, it's fairly decent, so... If you are trying to have the Carpenter's Master Drapes, you can run one of those weapons. It'd be fine. And if not, you can probably still thug it out with whatever weapon you have at current hand. Because I believe both are just as equally good. Now, to wrap this up, let's say this. Bambros, he is a fairly fun monster. He's not too hard, not too easy, just enough. This is G-Rank after all, so they're not like ha holding your hand through all this. But he's just hard enough to let you know that, hey, stuff's going to get real. And trust me, after him, things do get real. Like, I I didn't cart on this next video that we have going out, but um, I wasn't having a good time. And in the video after that, I technically didn't cart. I'm putting a huge technicality on that, but I was getting roosted. That's, that's me getting, like, I was getting beat up the entire time. It's crazy. Uh, the next couple of monsters are going to be really, really sick, and I can't wait to actually make those videos. But Bambros, he's a really fun monster. Like I said, his armor is very good, especially if you're a niche 
uh, hunter like myself who uses things like lance or gun lance or charge blade or if you really want to exploit that offensive guard because essentially that's the only really thing i really use the resentment and the offensive guard skills everything else is just kind of there but they all have a lot of slots you can actually outfit them with whatever the heck you actually want them to be outfitted with so it, it's fun you can mix and match and uh, find your, your, your your calling if you will but um i will say his weapons again they're not necessarily hit or miss it's on you i recommend that for sure it's on you his weapons they have roughly around the same attack as the bone weapons would have so if you don't have elementless or you don't want to um maybe try and get an ice weapon or you, you just kind of don't like the way it looks you're probably going to be just as fine with bone weapons because they have essentially the same stats so with that said that's all i can really say about band bros he's not a tough monster i remember he has the charging attacks where he can actually pick up a giant ball of debris maybe even a tree he does turf war with the Juritotos, excuse me the bay of totos <laughs> and um he's he's a lot of fun he's a lot of fun it's kind of difficult to actually make his armor because a lot of his not a lot but a couple of the parts that you're going to need are a little bit rare so if you are going to make the armor you might have to grind a little bit maybe take out four or five of these guys and um with that being said that's all i have for you band bros um so this is the end of the video and i'm going to say this for you guys here i am like in the last video i said i was under the weather i was feeling a little sick i am dreadful guys okay I am extremely weak. Uh, I'm going to take a couple of days off to recuperate. Um, these next couple of videos, they won't actually come out. Like it, I'm doing these as I finish like the hunt. Like I finish the hunt, and I make the armor, I make the commentary, that kind of thing. Because I like to actually fight the monster a few more times, enough to make the armor to get a full concept and view on the monster. That way I can give you guys the advice needed and give you a couple of tips and tricks hither and thither. But um, I don't know what it is. I probably got a bug or something like that but i'm feeling very very under the weather I've, I've thrown up a couple of times i'm feeling super weak i can't keep food down i'm sweating even though it's freezing it, it's just not feeling really good so i just told myself yo i'm gonna mash out this commentary and um i don't know when i'll be okay hopefully it's it's gone in 24 hours or less but uh, i'm just letting you guys know right now that um if anything happens i will be on a tiny hiatus until i get better because uh i don't really want to like hurt myself i mean the, the game just started i don't want to hurt myself because i have you know to make more videos and stuff so uh that's that but anyway thank you guys for watching it's been your boy i hope you guys have a great day uh i'm actually gonna let the rest of the video play out i usually tend to like snip videos together well not videos but like cut certain parts of the video so that way the commentary ends and the video ends at the same time but the video is essentially done the monster is limping away and i'm gonna let you guys enjoy the rest of this but that being said it's been your boy take care i'll see you on the next video and spoiler alert it's viper toby kadachi